Hello everyone and welcome to chemistry class. Our topic for today is oxides of carbon. Carbon is a non-metal known to people for a long time under the names charcoal, soot and diamond. It occurs naturally as diamond and graphite. Carbon also occurs in an impure form as coal and in the combined state as petroleum, wood and natural gases. So we'll be looking at oxide of carbon but I just like to give you a brush up on what carbon is. Carbon is an element and its um, velocity number is 4. Well, carbon forms two important oxide, namely, namely carbon 4 oxide, which is CO2, and carbon 2 oxide, which is CO. Carbon 4 oxide. The atmosphere contains about 0.03% by volume of CO2. Well, I'm sure that you are aware that um, we as living organisms or living beings, we breathe out carbon dioxide or carbon 4 oxide, and that's why we have it in the atmosphere preparation of carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide. co2 is prepared in the laboratory by the action of dilute acid on triazocarbonate 4 or hydrogen triazocarbonate 4 so here we have um we have our triazocarbonate this is a calcium triazocarbonate reacting with acid hydrochloric acid to give us calcium chloride cacl2 water and co2 as gas we also have it reacting with um a sodium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4 with reacting with um, a dilute acid which is H hno3 to give us na no3 water and also co2 so that's one way or one of the major ways we can prepare C um, co2 in the laboratory it also can be obtained by eating metallic triazocarbonate 4 except those of sodium and potassium you see here we are eating copper triazocarbonate 4 to give us copper oxide and co2 as the gas well industrially that's on a large scale in the industry it is obtained as a byproduct in fermentation process and also when limestone is heated to make quick lime all right so let's just look at the physical properties of carbon 4 oxide how do i know that this is carbon 4 oxide just seeing it physically one carbon 4 oxide is a colorless odorless gas with a sharp refreshing taste how do you know it is it has a sharp refreshing taste you notice our carbonated drinks uh drinks with caffeine uh um, soda drinks the refreshing sharp taste that comes from it is as a result of co2 then number two it changes damp blue litmus paper pink it is soluble in water and it is denser than air. Chemical properties of carbon dioxide reaction with water. It dissolves in water to form triazocarbonate. So we, we can see um, carbon dioxide reacting with water to form a triazocarbonate. Four. Then it also reacts with alkali. Alkali are also known as bases. So we have carbon dioxide reacting with sodium hydroxide to give us sodium triazocarbonate and water then it reacts with burning magnesium well carbon does not really readily react with um, other metals but because this magnesium is at an intense heat so it reacts with magnesium to give us magnesium oxide and carbon then it also reacts with red hot carbon you can see here in the equation of our formula as co2 is reacting with red hot carbon to give us co which is carbon monoxide we also get that in the later part of this class then test for co2 how do i how can i test a reagent how do i know if co2 is present what you do is you bubble the unknown gas through lime water which is caoh2 that's calcium hydroxide if the gas is CO2, you will see that the lime water will turn milky. So this is the question of the reaction. Uses of carbon dioxide. What are the uses of carbon dioxide? It can be used as part of the substances used for, um, part of the substances in fire extinguisher. It is actually more effective than water. Then too, it gives carbonated drinks their refreshing taste. I mentioned that earlier. It can also be used as a fertilizer. 
the yeast and baking powder that I used in baking produce CO2 which causes the dough to rise. Then carbon 2 oxide which is CO. CO is produced by the incomplete combustion, combustion of carbon co compounds such as octane found in, in petrol. So this is um, an equation of reaction showing you that I will get CO gas. But note that CO is a very poisonous gas. As little as 0.5% of it in the air, it can cause a person to die and it is released actually through exhaust pipe of cars or exhaust pipe of industries preparation co is prepared from co2 by passing carbon 4 oxide through red hot carbon you can see the equation of the reaction here so what are the physical properties of carbon 2 oxide it is a colorless odorless and tasteless gas unlike Carbon fog that has a sharp refreshing taste. It is neutral to neat most paper, unlike carbon four oxide that turns um, damp blue neat most paper to pink. It is slightly less dense than air and is also insoluble in water but dissolves in a solution of ammonica copper and one chloride. Right, let's look at the chemical properties of carbon two oxide. It is a reducing agent. Reducing agent meaning that it reduces any um, compound that it comes in contact with it, it removes oxygen. So we have PBO, we have lead oxide reacting with carbon 2 oxide now to give us what lead and carbon 4 oxide. Then it undergoes combination reaction, it reacts with oxygen to give us carbon 4 oxide, it reacts with hemoglobin to give us a stable compound called carboxyl hemoglobin and um, this compound prevents hemoglobin from transporting oxygen in our body we know that the work of hemoglobin is to transport oxygen in our body and a body where oxygen is not transported can cause death then what are the uses of carbon 2 oxide it is used in the extraction of metals from their ores it is also an important constituent of gaseous fuels like producer gas and water gas. Summary. There are two important um, forms of oxide of carbon. We have carbon 4 oxide, CO2, and carbon 2 oxide. Then carbon 2 oxide is a very poisonous gas. Carbon 2 oxide is also prepared by reducing carbon 4 oxide with red hot carbon. Carbon 4 oxide is prepared by the action of dilute acid on the tri triazo carbonate 4. Below here are your assignments. Please try on your own, and I would love to get a feedback from you. Thank you.